What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple of defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. See, we are the Washington football team because uh, for this crewy crew, you have to rep one team. We just got the draw of having the uh, football team. See right here, we got A-Rod, Marvin, and Moss. And of course, he's going to have Moss, Slay, and Rod. I think he's still rocking the Raiders theme team. Yeah, this is going to be a live comp for YouTube. So right here, we are kicking the ball off first, which I always love, honestly. At least in modes like Mutt. Maybe, you know, in a mode like Regs, you probably want to score first. But, you know, here we go. We're hopefully going to be able to lock up. And, yeah, man, I, I'm not the best versus tight out, uh, not tight offset, excuse me. This A slot offset. And a lot of people probably could agree with me. This is a pretty good formation in the game right now. And, boys, I forgot to sub in, um, what's his face? Justin Reed, man. That's going to be an L for us. But Jakuski Tart should be able to ball out for us. You know, he's still aiding like 97 overall with 97 speed. So we're going to try 335 wide first, see if we're doing all right. And then from there, um, you know, if he does dot us up, we will switch it up to um, over G. Is right here. He has Gannon. I'm going to spy him because he does like to take off a lot. And that's pretty good defense, boys. He threw that. And we're not able to pick it off a very blind read on the first play. I can't believe he threw that, boys. I'm gonna switch it up to match right here. See how he adjusts to match. Uh, once more, gonna spy up. I don't want to spy my double or nothing, but you know, like I said, I've watched him play quite a bit, and he takes off a lot right here. Can't get there. Ricky Jackson got a hit stick him, but that's all good. It's right here. D, D line is spread, and he decides to run the ball. I guess a mistake by me. I'll, I'll keep that in mind next time. Not that bad of a start. I mean, it could have been better. We could have got that pick, obviously, but let's see what's going on right here. Good defense all the way around. And we're going to get that intentional grounding, it looks like, boys. We all know how that intentional grounding works. Um, hopefully, they have it fixed for next year. Right here, I'm switching my zone drops up. 25s and 10s. Let's see if, you know, that does the job. I'm going to spread the D-line to the left. And just, you know, make sure everything's set accordingly. I have the spy once more. He's going to kind of just sit in that middle. Just watch for delay fades. It's right here. He's going to just throw a nice dot. I don't know where my dude uh, Jimmy Ward went, but he kind of got sucked by the, sucked down by the drag, it looks like. And that's what happens sometimes with those curl flats. And if he runs right here, then he got it, man. Uh, you know, there's just no way he runs right here. It's right here. He's going to pass. And... He has a crosser wide open. I should have set my zone drops, but he does get cheated. Hashtag need it. Right here, 25s and 15s. Hopefully they get the job done, man. And I have those double or nothings, man. Time to use them. Hopefully we could get a shed or something. Uh, I'm going to be sending three. I just, if he rolls out, then it might be an issue. Double or nothings going off. And there they go. Ricky Jackson, aka Ricky Craxon, going crazy. He did have that delay fade. It would have been a 50-50 if he would have got it. And that that right there, boys, I know Gannon's a uh, field general, and his AP is pretty short. Um, not short, but pretty, like, you know, nice to fit on to your team. You know, his uh, uh, abilities are cheaper, I should say. But, you know, his release is just so bad. I Trust me, i played with him so many times. Ricky Craxon, yes, sir, bro. Ricky Craxon goes crazy. Right here, we're going to test his... Um, Boot over defense, man. It's something I like to do a lot. I know he, uh, K. Harry likes to send two a lot and use zone drops. So hopefully we're able to, you know, get outside the pocket. And I had a couple players open, just didn't make the read. I'm fine with that, though. You know, the first play is just kind of a feel-out play for me. Definitely going to be running a lot of spacing switch right here, guys. Um, this is one of my favorite zone beating plays. As in, you know, they're running Mabel defense. They're just going to sit in right there. And I'm able to get the first plus on right there. Right here, I audible the PA crossers. I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to get into this uh, inside zone look. I'm probably just going to call a timeout because I didn't have my audible set in that trio formation. Right here, man, I had to get that 
uh, oh one trap in that buck alert in those audibles and you know sometimes if you don't if you don't think you got it just call a timeout there's nothing wrong with it man running flood right here hopefully it works he is in 55 wide now which i just noticed and uh we're just gonna oh my god we were gonna be able to take off but chase young literally just came out of nowhere and i had a couple reads open on that play but we're fine at some point i want to hit this rollout corner route dot to uh vernon davis i don't know if now is the time boys he is in man and we're gonna just kind of occupy the user with a streak you never know he might run to the left side and we are oh my god he overthrew it i don't think that was gonna be a pick i kind of threw in the perfect timing but a rod still overthrew it for us man kind of unfortunate damn that was a dot that was a dot i'm not gonna lie boys i'm gonna go uh back to a similar type concept but this time a smart routed corner route because i think he's gonna set his zone drops to you know guard that deeper corner hopefully this corner route gets underneath uh, his his zone drop because he is in man it looks like again and I'm not gonna test it boys he kept that corner out the same thing uh, good defense right there we'll kick three guys I wish I would have ran at least once that drive on at least on the red zone I'm saying um, I did three straight passes it kind of gets difficult sometimes get gun tray open offset I wonder what he, that is in this formation we're gonna stick to our wide defense I bet you he just runs the ball, honestly. Um, he has Waller out there, which is pretty unique. And he does run the ball, and we're not able to make a tackle. When we have, like, three people there, that's kind of annoying. And he's probably going to run the ball again, man, honestly. I don't think he has a dot out of this, but you never know. So I'm going to spy that left safety. And you know what? Now I'm just going to man him up. And he ran again, but Derwin James is right there this time. Gun monster. So my opponent is just doing anything at this point to just throw me off, it seems like. I don't really know. Because um, right here, he's going to audible to his pat in. Ace off offset. Ace slot offset. He runs the ball. Namdi should be able to get there. And Slay is able to get there there too. I said there twice. But he is in field goal range, man. I just forgot this is Mutt. And yeah, man, my opponent is definitely just doing the most right now. To say the least um, yeah hopefully we could just run the same defense like we just did and it hopefully we're able to back up and those doubles are going crazy Derwin James user pick is it going for six is it going for six it's stop yes sir it's going for six I almost made that a little tough for you for myself he lowballed that it just gets tricky sometimes there's so many routes in the middle of the field and you know i just sometimes when it comes down to that you just pick the right one and you get a pick uh thankfully i didn't mess up the the stick work that kind of got scary bro rich gannon was almost about to have his first career tackle it seemed like on me but you know we, we got it done yeah that drive right there was kind of just he was just i don't know he was trying to hit me with all the things i haven't seen before from him and it almost worked to say the least right, right here just playing zone again um he likes to do these delay fades. That's a dot, though. The one time I play cover two, I feel like I feel like that always happens, boys. The one time you play like cover two, they just dial up the perfect cover two beater. Right here, man, running back is manned up. Good defense. Those doubles are eating. He's going to throw the ball away. All right, boys. I'm going to switch it up to man right here. I feel like I've been playing all right defense. He knows it's man because of the look. I don't think this is that good versus the run, it looks like. But, you know, I'm just going to have a spy right there just in case. Guarding the crosser route stepping back he throws it away good throw away by him and the thing to remember guys he is in field goal range again last time he was in field goal range he ended up throwing a pick six um you know i'm just gonna bring my safeties down i'm gonna blitz him good corner route dot right there uh probably should have put nambi in a third and excuse me in a uh, i can't talk in a vert hook but that probably might have been still open honestly this is a good drive so far I have to guard Taysom Hill himself. He has Slotomatic, I think. And right here. I mean, Ricky Craxon, I'm telling you right now. If you don't have him, you need to get him. It looked like he had someone open, in my opinion, guys. But I don't know. We'll never know. And right here, he does have someone open. He kind of hits us with a no huddle. I should have called a timeout. I hate when that happens, man. I just let him get all the yards back pretty easily. Running match right here, boys. 
Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it does work. And it's gonna work. It's gonna he's gonna be on a four. That's a first. I can't believe that was a first, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I thought for sure this was gonna be a uh, a third down, fourth down. He throws that, and that's a dot, even though we have Acrobat. I can't believe he still threw that, man. I still can't believe he threw that. Good dot, though. My opponent is on the board now. That was a good drive, but that was a wild drive, bro. I felt like I had him on a second and 20. I got to get off the field in that scenario. And like I said, boys, I'm going back to spacing switch. We are in the middle of the field, so I honestly might just run right here, especially with that D-line spread. I'm trying to just get to a hash right here, honestly, and we are able to get almost a first down. Pretty good run, if you ask me. All right, boys, spacing switch right here. Um, this is the best Mabel beater in the game. Not even like that. It's just a, it's a concept rather than a play. And right here, we're going to have that out route wide open, take our yards. And, you know, we aren't conservative, so we got to watch out for that. But, you know, that was Slay. I don't think he could really pop like that. Running mesh right here, boys. If you know me, you know how much I love mesh. Um, it's really, really good versus, like, zone drop defense, especially cover three. And... We have that playmaker. We're not going to throw it. We're going to be patient. We're going to throw it away. He kind of had a good user. I pr probably should have playmakered up. I still had the playmaker looking back on it um, towards the back side. I'm going to run the same play again, though. Instead of motioning him, I'm just going to let him set and call high. Hopefully, he runs the route fast. The route bounce, too. Yeah. He sends the coverage. And there it is. We have mesh. And that's why I use A-Rod. No winding up. No fluky fluke. Great dot right there. Probably one of the best cover two beaters in the game, if you ask me. And I kind of messed up, boys. That could have gone to the two-minute warning if I had called a play a second earlier. And you heard me kind of snap to call a play. But, you know, this play will take us to the two-minute warning. Pretty good stick work. Not able to juke out his user, though. Six yards, pretty good, if you ask me. I'm going to run some 0-1 trap right here. Maybe Buck, if he goes into man, if you watch my videos, you know how it works. So he is in man. We're going to switch it up and run the Buck. I need this outside guy. Shout out to Bobby V because I did watch this video. And for the most part, good blocks. And we're able to get the first. Um, there was some, somewhat of a little crease right there, but he did get some good block sheds. We didn't get the first on that, but you know what time it is. It's King Henry time inside the 20. I'm going to just line him up at fullback and call hike. So it looks like he is in pretty good defense. Hopefully we don't fumble. We are on ag, boys. I'm a little scared. And I knew it, bro. I literally knew it, man. He gets a fumble and it's going for six. And it isn't King Henry time today, man. It is not King Henry time today. I'm kind of sad. That's on me, bro. I should have run something else. I know that fullback dive gets shot. And you know what, bro? Because of that performance, I was going to sub out King Henry. But I don't have any other... You know, good running backs. Mostert is just fast. If I had Kamara in, I would have definitely subbed him in with the instance. And like I said, boys, that was my fault. I was on ag. That happens sometimes. But, I mean, to go for six, that's kind of wild. It is what it is, though. Right here. We're, we're, we're not scared. We're going to go to Henry. And look at him. He, still, he said, I got you, Pop. I'm sorry about that last play, bro. He said, I got you. Uh, I should have kept my playmaker. But we're going to have that dot. Can we get our feet in bounds? Yes, sir. Isaac Bruce gets his feet in bounds. He is not like Moss. And, you know, the more I play with Moss, the more I notice he just doesn't get his feet in bounds. I don't know what it is. Good dot, though. We're cooking up. And right, same thing. We're going to go to Buck. See if we can make something happen. I like the look we had last time. King Henry is mad. King Henry is mad. Can he get out of there? Oh, my God. The old lineman couldn't pick it up. And that was kind of bad stick work. I should have cut it inside. Or maybe even outside. But guys, like I said, I'm completely content if we don't if we get held up right here and only get seven or three. Because you know, we do get ball at half, and it's gonna be kind of hard for him to score with that much time left. Um I'm gonna pass right here because I don't know, it just would be wouldn't be smart to, you know, call a I don't know. I feel like I'm I would be playing too conservative, is what I'm trying to say. Right here, zone drop defense is on. Gonna lob it. The lob didn't do anything. Maybe if it was on the other side of the field, um, his user was all over that. But, I mean, still, he was out, he was kind of out of bounds, so I'll take it. Not the best read, but, I mean, sometimes in the red zone, you got to chuck something up. He has something on his user. What is his on his user? He has deflator on his user. I don't think deflator really works like that in Mutt, thankfully. Or, I mean, all mad in Mutt, I should say. Right here, same thing, man. I'm telling you, this play has potential. It really does. 
Ah, uh, there's nothing there. We're gonna go down and kick three. And look at the, um, you know, we were up 10-0, and then he just came back 14 to 10, and now it's 13 to 14. Um, like I said, the red zone is a big difference. We got held the three twice. Potentially could be like a 21-14 game. Instead, it is a 13 to 14 game, which is fine. But right here, man-to-man -man coverage. He has route tick on, um, what's his face? Uh, Waller, which I actually like now because his route tech is going to get matched on. Dude, watch the delay fade. And there it is. Good defense. And if he messes us up, boys, we'll get the ball back with just enough time to get three. Um, hopefully, like I said, I don't think he'll be able to get three himself. But you never know. So right here, same defense again. I just have to watch Waller somewhat. And he motioned him over again. And Nandi is going to match on to Waller perfectly. I really like this defense right now. I know it's stock man-to-man. -man, but, you know, sometimes you just got to take it. Um, and right here, I'm telling you, boys, he was throwing a pick. We're not going to be able to get the ball back now. He's probably just going to run it and call it a half. But he was this close to throwing a pick, man. I definitely think he was throwing a pick. He's going to run right here. There's no doubt about it. And just have to stop it up. If we had an extra timeout, we would definitely be trying to get three. He has route tech on his tight end. And obviously, one step counters route tech. So, you know, that's how that works. Boys, we're in a good spot still. If we get seven out of half, I really like our chances to win. I feel like my opponent has, he's had all right drives, but at the end of the day, he his discipline, sometimes he just, he'd be throwing uh, at our user. I'm not trying to cap or nothing, but I've seen it. But that last drive he had was pretty good. Like I said, the fumble is the biggest difference in this game. And not, like I said, if we get three, I'm completely fine with it. As long as we don't turn it over, man. If we turn it over here, we might not be looking pretty. Um, yeah, I just got to play it slow and safe. I'm in the middle of the field, so I'm probably going to crack a run, depending on the look he gives me. He is in 3-3-5 wide right now. Let's try Buck one more time, man. I'm telling you, man. There's no way Buck isn't working, man. Uh, Derrick Henry just has to hit that second level. And he is able to hit that second level. And there he goes, getting a nice amount of yards. And we kind of swerved Nambi right there. I don't know if you guys peeped that or not. Nambi kind of took a bad angle on us. And, you know, I'll, I'll, you know I'm glad about that. So. And I'm thinking he's going to run man now. Um, last time I saw him, he was running a lot of zone, but I'm thinking he switched it up, man. I'm thinking he switched it up. I'm going to block Derrick Henry because I don't think he's going to be able to do anything for us. And we're going to have Vernon Davis, great dot, great crossing route pattern down to the 37. And we're going to try Buck again, man. He keeps running man. I'm telling you, this, this is the run for man looks. Wide is naturally really good run D, so... It might not be the best for that, but there he goes. Come on. We got to make a move. We got to make a move down to the 10, man. The red zone is the dead zone, but hopefully we're able to get in. I'm going to let King Henry get his energy, but you know what, man? I might just sub in Moster if he's keep continuing to let us run butt. Um, and like I said, if he does switch it up, we'll just run 0-1 trap. Same look again, man. Look at the whole right side of the field. He is bringing that safety down, but, you know, that might hurt him. Bad stick work. I was going to try to crease it up to that right angle and maybe crib it. I think I have a play, boys. I'm going to run flood, but the thing is I'm running it with my tight end this time. So, um, like I said, I have a matchup nightmare on my tight end. And I'm going to put an angle route on Derrick Henry and smart route it. So he's going to run the whole distance of the field. Just have to make the right read. Really, just have to make the right read. And we make the right read that time. Let's go. Question is, do we go for seven? Or, excuse me. Do we go for two right now? Chat, what's the move, bro? No, kick, kick. I'm thinking we kick. Yeah, good cause, boys. Good cause. So we're, we're going to kick the extra point, man. And this is like, this is that real football knowledge. You kick, you go for it. Madden and football, like, it's, it's, it's the same thing. One stop, and I, I'm thinking this is over. Especially now, you know, we kick the three. If we get a stop, I'm going to kick a, kick a field goal, make it two possession. Obviously, score would make it two possession. I like our decision, honestly. There's a lot of time left in this game, too. And I'm going to run man again. I know it's kind of cheesy, but all mad and man. Shade down, shade underneath. It's so effective. And he does have route tech on his tight end. So that's why it was able to beat it so much. I'm thinking about moving Nomdi to that side. So, you know, it just won't be open. Um, I'm not, That's what we're going to do right here, boys. We'll try it out and see how it works. And we got to get Sherman out of there. Night Train Lane is going to make more plays for us. I'm really only just watching Taysom Hill at this point. And like I said, that's all I had to do, and I kind of had a bad user right there. Once more, we're going to bend, don't break, run man coverage again. Watch the delay fade, watch the de delay fade, watch the delay fade. 
He throws it. Let's go, chat. I literally called it earlier. And that's six. Derwin James with his second pick six of the game. And now we're going to be able to go for two. Sometimes you got to just make those mental reminders, man. I said, watch the delay fade. Watch the delay fade. Watch the delay fade. I mean, how many times have we got beat by delay fades? Um, I just I just scouted him a little bit and you know when in doubt there's always gonna be a delay fade I knew his play art uh, And you know, we just got for, went for the pick and we got it boys We really need this two-point conversion. I'm trusting Vernon. I'm just gonna throw this honestly. I'm just gonna throw this I'm not gonna throw it, bro. Oh my god. I had him and I just I don't know what happened boys I'm not gonna lie. That was bad. I probably should have ran right there. It gets tough uh, inside like the five I had him at the end, but I just couldn't get it out. If you guys like what you're seeing, hit that follow, uh, hit that sub button, like this video. Okay, man to man, man, <laughs> man to man, man. And oh my God, this dude Vernon Davis is cooking my route tech, bro. That's wild. Excuse me, I I miss I miss said that Vernon, uh, not Vernon Davis. This dude Darren Waller, he's right here. He hits a dot. It's hard, bro. It's hard doing a live comment playing a sweaty game. Um, Darren Waller. Just cooked my one step is what I basically said. We're gonna send the heat. We haven't really sent the heat. Watch the tight end seam. And we send the heat, we get the results. Ricky cracks and gotta go for that hit stick, man. That's Trent Brown too. You know how I feel about Trent Brown now, man. Uh, oh my goodness, what was that? I can't believe he just snapped through that, man. And I, I'm gonna call timeout. Like, I'm just not gonna let him no huddle down the field. Right here, match coverage. Wow, my match coverage didn't match coverage. Uh, I don't know what happened right there. I thought that was for sure going to be a bag, but Nambi just didn't turn around in time. Excuse me, not Nambi. Darius Slay didn't turn around. Uh, we're good, though. We're good. Just watch the seams. Watch the seams. Go down. Great dot, man. Uh, he's going to go down at the one. He had a lot of time for that, but, you know, the coverage was cover three, sh shade underneath. That corner route's open almost every time. I probably should have had set zone drops and, you know, played zone drop defense at that time. But we're good, man. I'm going to be able to clock him out uh, if, you know, if he does score. Hopefully, you know, we get lucky, maybe get a fumble of our own. You never know. And he runs power O, and that's what I like, man. Make it go to the, you know, next quarter and, you know, potentially maybe stop him again. Maybe even twice, maybe even three times. Gun monster right here. I'm just going to sit in over G. I'm not going to lie. Over G is really good run D. And I'm gonna pinch my D line. They're just gonna have a time, a long time getting there. And he really called a play out of over uh, Gun Monster. This dude is wildin' for that. Um, and we're gonna just, I don't know, man. We just have to make the tackle, and we are able to make the tackle. My man's is wildin', running on a Gun Monster, man. And I don't know, bro. I, I, I he, he finally audible. I was thinking about calling a timeout. Uh, right here. Does he have anything open? He does. That out route is pretty cheesy, man. Opponent is not out the game yet. This is a pretty good game, man. We're just going to have to clock him out. And what are we up by? Five. If we get three, it will be an eight possession game. Hopefully that works. And I should have called a timeout, man. I've been saying it. You got to call a timeout. You got to call a timeout. When in doubt, buck it out, man. Let's see if we have the buck look again. He isn't man. He's just going to continue to let us run it. Now I'm telling you, once we hit that second level, it might be cheese. We are not able to hit that second level, but it looks it looks pretty good, man. It looks pretty good. Not to be, don't worry, chap. Uh, you know, I've been in this scenario a lot before. He is a man. I'm this time just thinking about throwing to my playmaker, and there it is, playmaker dot. We're gonna go up and get the first. Don't fumble. That was a risky hit stick. I can't believe I just ran into Nambi like that. Nambi could hit too, man. He's six foot three. I don't know exactly what his hit power is, but I've seen him cause fumbles. Marvin's been on thin ice, man. If he would have fumbled that, he would have been quick sold with a quickness chat. Right here, running the buck run again. And you know, even if I don't get yards, it's fine. I'm I'm clocking him out, man. It may not seem like it's a success, but we're gonna get one eventually. We're gonna stop and go. And you know, on paper that looked like a pretty good run, but in reality, that's a really good run, a great run because it's second and one. We get to drip some time out and you know even if we don't get it it's one yard it'll go to third down and basically i'm just clocking him out he's in over g now so you know over g is really good run d i don't know why if he just wants to switch run d's up but there goes henry getting that one yard i probably could have waited an extra four seconds call hike but honestly i don't think it would have gone to uh below 240 um i'm just looking at that left play clock i forgot in mutt man see i've been playing a lot of different modes 
and Mutt, the play clock is at 30 seconds, I think, not 40. So right here, we're gonna run Buck again. We're gonna auto ID one of these guys on the right and Hut Hut. He shoots it really, really well, but that's fine with me. Good run D right there. Lost four yards, which is kind of a lot. Um, but, you know, I'm just probably going to go back to the good old reliable playmaker corner route combo. Uh, bench pivot, smash return. It's the same thing. It's the same concept. Playmaker, he's a man again, man. And we're going to have Vernon Davis this time. And that chat, that chat looked like an overthrow, but in reality, that's how good Vernon Davis is. I could have probably passed led that up and scored, but we're fine. Uh, we still haven't taken any of his timeouts, but, you know, in reality, if, if we get a first down right here, maybe even two, it will be GG's in the chat. And I'm probably going to go on conservative right now. Chat, this may be a dumb thing, but I'm going to call a pass play. Um, my opponent, every time he was in here, every time I've audible the trio, I've, you know, called a run play here we go with a pass play man hopefully 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 i don't mess this up um i really like this play art i don't know about y'all chat i really think this is a good play art and right here good dot we are gonna be out of bounds again man but you know at this point i'm fine with it we get to take some time out and hopefully 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 we do get seven and that's just backwards sinking right there my opponent you know why would i pass there when i've just ran every play out of that formation you know he probably thought i was running and you know we end up just passing and we're gonna run trap boys i don't think trap is shootable from the look he's in we're gonna id his user and hopefully our, my left pulling guard we just got lincoln tomlinson niner team team He's able to do any, something and he's just not able to do anything. So we're gonna run base, man, because base is the only run that's working versus over G right now. Try to go the right side. Reality, I should have probably just cut it up. I had the numbers, bro. I really did have the numbers, but we're fine. My opponents, I'm just gonna run one more time. Right here, guys, we're just gonna run the ball. Uh, hopefully Henry could crib something and Chase Young. How is this dude Chase Young this good, bro? It was a one-on-one, -on -one, Lincoln Tomlinson. And he couldn't hold the, his end of the deal. Um, I don't think I would have scored there, but you know he's gonna have, let's see, a minute, ten seconds to get set to get eight, which is you know, uh, for me getting eight is extremely tough because here's the thing: whenever I'm down in this scenario, I'm I'm always just for some reason thinking, what am I gonna run on two for my two point play? I really don't even think about getting seven first, and most times people don't even end up getting the seven. Right here, the only thing I ask for is not to get blocked. We're just not even going to get full power on this. We're just going to... We don't get an accurate kick. He's not blocking us. Thank you, Jesus. And like I said, my, my opponent has been able to move the ball as of late. We're going to slap on some 10 flats and see if they get the job done. Send in five. Over G is definitely a meta now. I could see a lot of people running it more often. Right here. Let's see if he runs the ball because he does like to run the ball on this look. 10 flats. Maybe should have switched him up to 15. Um, but we'll be able to get the job done right here. I don't know why he playmakered him down, but I mean, hey, uh, Lawrence Taylor this time getting in on the shed. Um, just basically watch out for the bomb, putting Rod Woodson in the middle so, you know, bomb doesn't look too likely of happening. And that's going to end the game. GG's in the chat for my dude K. Harry. A slot offset demon. Throw out a sack is inevitable with Rich Gannon. Um, he played a really good game. There were some questionable plays from both of us. But what a good game, man. GG's in the chat. This will be a great gameplay. Go check him out. Go follow him. I'll put some of his links in the description. Till next time, boys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.